Praise the Lord, hallelujah today. This video is a video that I feel led to make by the Holy Spirit. We're going to start here in Exodus chapter 20, verse 1. And God spake all these words, saying, I am Jehovah thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image, or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them, for I the Lord, thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me, and showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. For Jehovah will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord of Jehovah thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work, thou nor thy son, nor thy daughter, nor thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that in them is, and rested the seventh day. Wherefore the Lord Jehovah blessed the Sabbath day, and hallowed it. Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee, which Jehovah has given thee. Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor, thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house, Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife, nor his manservant, nor his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his ass, nor anything that is thy neighbor's. Praise the Lord. Those are commonly known as the Ten Commandments. This is the law that God gave to Moses on the mountain. He wrote them on the tablets of stone with his finger. He wrote them in stone. And when we become Christians, filled with the Holy Spirit of God, by the work of God, as it says in John chapter 1. Let's go over to John chapter 1. And we'll make sure that we understand exactly how you become one of God's children. Hallelujah. Verse 12, But as many as received him, to them gave he power, hallelujah, to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. The word on there is into. Okay? Into. It means to or into, indicating the point reached. Okay? It's, it's the Lord's work, salvation, okay? The work of the Lord is, he's, he's so good. He saves a man. He saves a woman. God does the work. Okay? But to many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, which were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, okay, nor of the will of man, but of God. It's not anything of the old nature, the will of the flesh or man. It's all the work of God. Hallelujah. He draws a person by His Holy Spirit. He shows that person 
that they are fallen from grace they are a wicked sinner they need salvation and then he he puts in them the understanding the knowledge the belief hallelujah that he has done the work he has done the work on the cross to take care of their sin okay to save them from their sin and their iniquity and then they repent hallelujah and believe the gospel because God put it in them God saved them See? God did the work not because they are doing the work self-righteous Pharisees okay there was one group of people that Jesus had complete and total righteous indignation and hatred for when he walked the earth and that was the Pharisees now he loved them that he died for their sins but their actions their attitudes their self-righteous ways Jesus hated that he he looked on them the Bible tells us in Mark with anger see with anger he asked them, is it right to do good on the Sabbath day or to do evil see is it okay and they looked on him with, you know, he, they just they didn't open their mouth. They didn't say a word to him. They wouldn't answer him, see. So he looked on them with anger, and he told the man with the withered hand, stretch out your hand, and his hand was made whole like the other, see. Hallelujah, hallelujah. But according to man's ways, the Pharisees' ways, Jesus was uh, in error. They, they said he was working by Beelzebub. See, they sought to kill him because he was not operating within their little religious box. Okay. And the people on YouTube that are preaching a false gospel, false gospel, that they do the work, that they do the work by their own human understanding and their own ability to um, stop sinning, they say. Okay. They say they're doing the work they are liars they are taking the name of the Lord God in vain See, they are misrepresenting the Lord God All right. they are misrepresenting the finished work of the cross that Christ has done all the work for men's salvation and then you might think well John what about where it says work out your salvation with fear and trembling that means that you submit and surrender to the Father daily, every single day. You say, Lord, slay this old nature in me. You take up your cross daily and you follow after Him. Okay? You keep your focus on Jesus daily. And you walk with Him and talk with Him and worship Him and praise Him. Hallelujah. 